Hey, what's up everybody? I just wanted to do this video. Um, it's not going to be the greatest video because I'm using a cell phone. I gotta get myself like a blog camera. But, this is what I was talking about. This is going to be that game-changing device that I was talking about. Sandy, pay attention, buddy, because I think you're going to be interested in this. Um, a couple times throughout this video, I'm probably going to have to put my phone down so I can use my hands. But, this is what I wanted to show off. Me and another friend of mine got one of these things. Um, this is a smart trigger. Basically what this thing is, is nothing but a whole bunch of sensors. And it's specifically designed for high speed, fast moving photography. Uh, this thing will use lasers. Um, I could set traps with it. Uh, you know, trap triggering. What that would be good for, uh, sort of like when horses are running through uh, jumps or maybe doing something as far as uh, cross country, maybe back in the woods or something where I don't want to be, where I could set a remote camera and I want that camera to trigger at a certain position when I know the horse is going to be coming over a jump or something, I could then take the camera, attach it to a ball head and then attach that ball head to like a platypod and then strap it to a tree. I would then tie this trigger into a uh, pocket wizard, set the pocket wizard to fire, put one up in the hot shoe of my camera, and as soon as this thing sensed that laser beam would break, it takes this trigger two nanoseconds. I don't know how long a nanosecond is, but I imagine it's ridiculously fast. It takes it two nanoseconds to trip the camera. That is from start to complete finish. Um, so basically, I'm going to turn this thing on for everybody so you can see how it works, and then I'm going to kind of show you what it comes with. This is the actual trigger. It comes with a lithium-ion rechargeable battery. I'm going to turn it on. Okay. So this trigger, as you can see, the word lightning is on the screen. This trigger is fast enough to catch a blast of lightning and uh, be able to track it. So it can, you'll be able to get them pictures, oh, excuse me, of lightning that you've always wanted. Which is really, really cool. But just because it's lightning doesn't necessarily mean that you have to use it for lightning. Anything that makes a flash. Sandy, pay attention, buddy. Because this, this, is what, this is what I'm talking about right now. Have you ever been out of Gettysburg or out on a field and you're looking for that epic photo of when the cannon goes boom and you want that big blast of fire coming out of it well I'm willing to bet that this little trigger is going to be able to pick that up and the reason why it'll be able to pick that up is when I go into the menu I hit settings you can actually set the sensitivity of what you want this thing to see so let's just say you want the sensitivity to be set back so that it sees the most extreme part of that flash when that muzzle comes out of that when the, when the flash comes out of that muzzle of that cannon. This thing's going to see it, and not only will it see it, but it's going to capture it because again, two nanoseconds is fast. Again, I don't know how fast it is. It just I know it's got to be very very fast. Um, the other thing this thing will do, let me go back. It works off the of sound. So again. If it senses a sound, go into this. If it senses a sound, you can sense the, set the sensitivity to it. You could delay it in milliseconds. So, say the sound goes off, and three or four milliseconds later, you want the camera to trip. It will actually do that. It's just absolutely amazing what this thing can do. It's, I think, it's going to really change the type of photography that we do. It'll do time-lapse photos. So you can set your interv your uh, intervals of how, of how you want it to do it. You can do your exposure, uh, and then you can set a limit of how many exposures you want it to take, which is really cool. Of course it does. Oh, wrong button. This is the laser program um, on the front of this thing you would take that laser and you would touch that beat that actual uh, bubble that you're seeing there with the laser as soon as that laser breaks it's going to trigger the camera and you could do it two different ways 
You can do it so the beam will actually break. Then it will trip the camera, or you could set it so that whatever's in the beam, when it leaves the beam, it will trip the camera. So it's true trap shooting, which is really cool. So the other thing you could do again is there's a delay. Like if I knew the horse was coming over that jump, say, as soon as that horse would come through, I would want it to break the shutter for, I don't know, we'll just say three or four milliseconds, which is probably ridiculously fast. So I would set it for three or four, and as soon as it noticed that, then it would start sending a signal. Now, how many frames I wanted to shoot? This is very interesting too, because I could set this thing to tell my 1DX to continue to fire for X amount of frames. So I could actually put my camera into, say, like a high speed continuous and have this thing just continue to tell my camera to fire until I'm done. Until, until, I, until it's, well, until whatever the frames are set is done. Um, which is really cool. Uh, let's go back. Go back, go back. Then there's HDR, which I'm probably never going to use. Then there's DIY, which is basically a full on set, do it yourself mode um, what you know it, it really gets it actually is able to sense motion which way things are going if it's rising if it's falling if uh, the direction of whatever it is going to be changing um, it's just there's so many different things that this thing will do and then there's a scenario which you can go in and you can custom make your own scenarios for it that in itself is really, really cool. Um, so let's just go in here. Oh, go back up. So I haven't gotten into this part of it, so it says it's running. Step one is running. Uh, let's see what it says. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to have to read more about that. Um, let's see. How many of these? Looks like you could do at least. Let's see. Um, Oh, they're going down to three. I don't know. I have to read. I guess that's why it comes with directions. But um, the other really cool thing is this unit is Bluetooth enabled. So I haven't gotten into that yet. I'll show you what the side of it looks like. all caskets seal so this actually comes with a rechargeable battery which is really cool so what it comes with which I just, a little quick start guide which is probably what I should have read it comes with this cable this is how you would hook it up and do your software updates and so on and probably what I would have to do to go in to set up my case scenarios because it's probably going to have to be done from the computer um, and it comes with uh, for your flash because this will actually trigger flash um, it, it, it just seems like it does, it does, it does, it does um, then you have to get the proper uh, unit so that it comes with the cable for your camera. So there's this cables right here. So it comes with everything you need right out of the gate. Plus, like I said, it is have a rechargeable lithium ion battery, which is really nice. So I know there's a couple people that were asking me about this and were asking me about that and how it works. Does it actually work? So, right here is my 1DX. Let me get this thing out of the way. Okay, I'm going to actually show you how this mounts up. If I can do this, again, I'm using a cell phone and a desk light, which is probably not the coolest way to do this. Let me see. I got to get a blob camera, guys. That's what I got to get. Let me see. Oh. 
I'm going to open the port on the side of the camera, which is probably not all that important to you guys. I'm going to set the phone down for a minute. So I'll set it up. You guys can enjoy my ceiling for a minute. Okay, we're just going to connect that. And then all I'm going to do now, now that I got my phone back, get this the right way, is on the bottom of this, there's a hot shoe, or a cold shoe, into the hot shoe. Slide it in. Locks in. Okay, and now you're going to go right into your camera port. Alright, so there's going to be a part two to this video now. My phone's rang like three different times, which is really, really cool. I appreciate it when that happens because it stops my video, even though this video is not the best video. But right now, I'm going to show you what I'm going to try and do before I get another call. Uh, so the front of the camera is capped. Trigger's up top. Trigger's on. Waiting for light. Okay. So, the camera is on. You can see that it's on. So... Right now I'm running it in lightning mode, so what's going to give us that lightning is my flash. So what we're going to hope to see is, is when I hit this flash, we're going to hear my camera trip. You can see, no hands. Hopefully we'll see the flash and we'll hear a chink. There you go. Let's do it again. And again. And one more time. So it's definitely picking it up. So, that'll give you an idea how quick it happens. You don't even see that. Now it's just taking pictures of the light because it sees it. Um, what we're going to do, let's go back. This thing's very sensitive. Alright, so now we're in sound mode. I'm going to drop the sensitivity down because I don't want this thing to go crazy. Alright, so we have it to about half. It says that the sound mode is running. So all I'm going to basically do is just take my hand and smack this. And we should hear it trip. And again, this is a sensitivity issue. So if I turn the sensitivity up... turn it up to about there. I'm just going to snap. See? Yep. So you get the idea. It works very well. And we can definitely tell in here that it was firing. So, how cool is this thing? There it is, that is the MyOps Smart Trigger. Now the other thing that it will do, I'm going to shut this off because there's no point in keeping it running. Yeah, 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 I know, click, click. Is, it's Bluetooth enabled, which means it'll hook up to my telephone. And then I can control my camera completely from my phone. So true, you know, remote shooting. But the other idea that I have with the Pocket Wizards, is I could go right into, a, right into the PC port of the Pocket Wizard or I'm sorry, the sync port. And then it will actually turn it into a remote wireless RT trigger where I could take this, my ops, put it on a light stand somewhere, hang it across um, a trap, use a laser, put the camera somewhere else, and as soon as they come through, get the angled shot that I want, which is absolutely a phenomenal idea. The other thing this thing will do, infrared. It'll pick up infrared moving light, so... I'm going to say it. If you're into ghost hunting, um, you could do grid work with this. You could do all kinds of crazy stuff. Uh, the other thing that it has is it has the ability to take off of pressure. So it will sense pressure. You can actually hook a sensor into this that will detect pressure. And once it senses that pressure, uh, say somebody steps on like a pressure plate or something along those lines for whatever you're trying to do. Or you're wanting to cre create like a trail trap for like a bear or something and you don't want to use... Um, 
lasers. You could set up a plate system where it will detect the pressure and it will tell the fire, tell this thing to fire. Um, there's just so many different things you could do with it. I think it's basically an, one of those tools that's it's going to be one of those endless opportunities. Um, if this is it, this is the MyOps Smart Trigger. Sadly, uh, Allen's doesn't have these guys in stock. I don't even know if they know about these. Uh, I think they've been out for a little bit. There's an, uh, The company's name is Nero. Uh, they made a different type of trigger system, but this is the newer one. Um, I don't know. Is it going to make a huge difference? Who knows? But for the type of photography that I'm doing, I thrive on high-speed, fast-moving stuff. So this is just at home, you know. I, I love that kind of shooting. What I'm actually thinking is, too, I could probably get away with hand-holding my camera in a situation where I'm looking for high speed. Sort of like the cannons when they're, you know, shooting and firing and I want to capture that blast. Well, my finger's only so fast, but this trigger is a hell of a lot faster than I am, so... I'm still not going to be losing my ability to creatively hold the camera. I'm just going to take the human element out of it and allow the camera to fire on its own uh, when it needs to. I'm only so fast. And sure, the camera's got 12 frames a second, but who wants to go through a thousand photos to find one or two that you want or need when you can just set this MyOps up to do what you want it to do? Makes more sense. Lastly, the other thing that I could see myself using this thing for is going to an air show. Um, I don't know if it'll work, but the idea behind it would be to capture them sonic booms. When the cone comes around that plane, that's very difficult to get. I've been able to do it a couple times, only because I've sprang the hell out of the plane with, the, with high speed continuous. So, again, I don't know if that boom is 2 nanoseconds. I don't even know how fast, like I said, 2 nanoseconds even is, but... Will it catch a sonic boom? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. So it's going to be interesting to see how it actually works. Um, just from playing with it a little bit here, it's really cool as shit. Um, I, I really think it's going to be one of those things that's going to be like a wow thing. I don't think it's one of those party favor things. I actually think that it's going to make money. So this is it. This is the MyOp Smart Trigger from Nero. Sandy, you got to check it out, man. I think it's going to be a game changer. All right, buddy. I'll see you.